This is Pear Shake in the Duke Yard. On a Wednesday night at half past eight, once a month. Yes, it's Pear Shake, and we hope you all come to see us and don't be late. Pear Shake is just a fiver to come in, and we hope you'll be coming back again. So it's like so cool to be here, like so amazing, yet not because like, you know, there's like third world poverty and like people dying, like it's so weird, but like, you know, I really care, you know, it's like I can start a revolution from my bed, not my words, but the words for oasis, like it's so amazing, you know, I can spend, you know, maybe like 18, 14 hours in my bed, you know, with my state of the art DVD, you know, sitting there watching, you know, listening, and it's so cool because there's like people dying in third world countries, like I really care, it's like it makes me so emotional and I get a bit Ooh. And I think, well, like, you know, what can I do to, like, you know, solve third world poverty? Well, like, you know, my dealer came around earlier. I just put, like, you know, copious amounts of weed and sat there smoking and, like, thinking and being a bit cool from my bed. You know, I've decided to dye my hair green. And it's, like, really weird because half my friends are, like, really cool and they're not. Because, like, what's cool? It's, like, it's something that your friends do. And it's, like, so amazing. It's, like, what am I going to do to solve third world poverty? It's, like, there's little black babies dying. It's, like, what can I do to solve all that. Well, like, Daddy's a QC, and, like, we've got loads of money, and I want to make a difference, you know, like, if I just sit here smoking, you know, copious amounts of weed for, like, 24-7, maybe I can make a difference, but maybe I can't, it's, like, kind of weird. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World War Three, or, uh, another way of putting it, welcome to Pear Shaped in Dystopia. Everything's gone fucking pear shaped, and it's uh, quite dystopia that's a new word they just invented. I have written a song about World War Three, uh, about Mr. Putin. It's a fantastic song. It goes, Oh, you motherfucking bastard! You motherfucking bastard cunt! Oh, you motherfucking bastard! You motherfucking bastard cunt! That's all I've got. That's the title and the chorus. So uh, the verses will be uh, arriving soon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Brian. Um, the king of subtle comedy. <laughs> and, um, uh, or as uh, Sir Les Patterson used to say, I've oh, got subtlety coming out my ass. So, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, to quote uh, one of uh, Australia's top comedians. Uh, um, and um, uh, I, I'm Brian, and uh, this is Crystal, my glamorous assistant. Um, uh, this is uh, Uncle Anthony, Anthony, uh, the general manager. And uh, yes. I, whenever Anthony shows up, I sort of behave a bit, you know. But I, I didn't know he was. Oh, oh here we yeah. go, yeah. But he's getting wow. Hello, Anthony. Hello. Are you, are you enjoying the war? Yes, this is a lovely war, isn't it? It's, yes. it it's his. It's it's Spike Milligan well, would have it's loved it. Yes, I, 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 personally, I, I, haven't I, had, I haven't. Go on. I haven't I haven't seen a world war like this since the last one. It's no, and I don't know about you, but I basically I can't stand sequels. You know, no, I, I no. might get the far as two, but I, they're never I don't. as good as the original. Oh, one. Top Gun Eight. You no, know, I'm, never as good. I'm, no interest in it. But it's nice. It's nice that the Russians are getting a chance to check out their guns, you know, whether they work on kids or not, it's, you know, it's nice, because those blokes, they must have been training for years to do that, you know, it's, let's yeah. fire on women and kids, it's, it's great, and I love the yeah. fact that anybody old enough to fight, they won't let them out. And, and it's a proper old-fashioned yeah. war with soldiers and none of these missiles flying I know, out. proper war. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's with fantastic. tanks and, I don't know, and it's a little, a, you can see someone with a little thing is on, on the ground, one of those boards where they push things around. Mate, what's he talking about? about? Yeah. Do you know what he's on about? I need a bit mm. of volume, you know, because... Uh, I can hear it but, really well. Well, I, I'm very happy for you. I, I I'm not I'm happy for me. I can't hear anything. Mm. So we've got Faris Anthony talking about little things on the ground. Mm. What's, what's, mm. What, what did you mean, little things? Well, you know, like when you see them in the film with that board and they have those long sticks and they poke things round, which ones? On maps, that tanks mean. going over. The oh, on map, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, toy tanks. In the war room. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Oh, I, that, when I was a kid in the fifties, I always wanted to be my own war room. But I wanted, I wanted to be on both sides. Do you know what I mean? Killing yeah. everything in sight. <laughs> well, that's the best yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah. So. The trouble is when you're stuck in the middle. Mm. <laughs> It's a, a problem. And talking about being stuck in the middle, uh, mm. ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Al Mendelino. Al Midlino. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lovely. And, uh, yeah. Al will be uh, speaking to us later. Uh, I, I can't <laughs> wait to see what he's come up with this week. I hope it's as good as uh, oh, your motherfucking bastard. Ah, but uh, yeah. we will see. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we have, uh, by popular demand, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, 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 the same headline that we had last month. But this yeah. month, he yeah. is live, in wow. person, in person, no rain. Oh, our man in the valleys. Yeah, yeah. real gig. Uh, he is yeah. here tonight. Uh, we may have our man in LA. He sent me a, <laughs> a message at, uh, about... Uh, 7.45 saying is it too late to send a video <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know whether he's going to show up or not but he might do and uh, we've got a uh, crystal uh, crystal mm -hmm. uh, your friend crystal yeah. is doing a little bit is she? ranting talking you know oh mm -hmm. mm, she should be talking later so um, about women drivers maybe mm -hmm. yeah. I thought you would put, put that on the, the end uh, I might may may yeah, I've, you know, I'm the dictator around yeah. here. I decide when bits get shown. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, may <laughs> or okay. Okay. I'm a rootin' tootin' putin' kind of guy. <laughs> that reminds me, it's time for a country song. Oh, <laughs> And uh, as everything is so fucking miserable at the moment, I this is a song called Somebody Sing Something Cheerful. All right? <laughs> always a sad song get to the top of the charts songs about dying and cheating and lying and making and breaking of hearts songs about drinking and fighting songs full of sorrow and pain there's something about all that moaning and groaning that just about drive me insane Somebody sing something cheerful Put the smile back on my face You're wasting my time with this sorrowful wine I'm getting out of this place For God's sake sing something cheerful Cause I'm going out of my mind If I don't get an earful of something I'm leaving this hellhole behind Why is it always the asshole Who pretended to be your best friend Gets the girl and the house and the kids and the car And even your dog's giving in When you're sitting there howling your sorrows And the band is just making things worse you're ready to strangle that singer And send him back home in a hearse For God's sake, sing something cheerful Put the smile back on my face You're wasting my time with this sorrowful wine And I'm getting out of this place For God's sake, sing something cheerful I know it's not too much to ask But if you get it wrong when you sing the next song I'll shove that guitar up your ass If you get it wrong when you sing the next song I'll shove that guitar up your ass Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. And <laughs> uh, another subtle, subtle little 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 ditty. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, talking of subtle ditties.
I asked what people wanted to do, and randomly chosen was the virus version of the Life of Brian song. So this is a guy from the Life of Brian, not, you know, I've been on lockdown so long I've turned into Tom Hanks from Castaway. So here we go. Some things have no admirers. Some things are brought to Tyrus. Some things they make us ill or even kill, just like the bar Billy Cyrus. But look on the internet, Instagram, go to Twitter, if you're old, look on the wireless. I've run out of rhymes, so I'll have to talk to a shy horse. But if you're feeling crook, just take a look on the bright side of the virus. Sing with me! Ah! Ah! You, for tomorrow, tell me what you want me to do. Uh, that's, uh, that's Robert White asking people to tell him what they wanted him to do. Um, I, I'm just looking at this, thinking this is a bit fuzzy. I don't know, I'm experimenting with lights, because, um, you know, I, I, it was all a bit grim before. Well, the background's still grim, but, you know, I, I thought I'd make it less grim and have some light. I don't know if that's too much, or is that better? I don't know. That's better, yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I'm not as jerky now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to make it a bit more showbiz because, you know, yeah. uh, it's, it's not easy being the second worst uh, comedy club on the internet. We've got to compete <laughs> with GP News and things like that and uh, and the live stream of, uh, of, of various radio stations, which we won't plug. Um, so, yeah, we have light bulbs. The thing is, you have the thing with light bulbs is that you can't buy a single one anymore. Mm. They're all in packs of two because they last 15 years. Mm. So... Um, they have to sell them in packs of two because no one actually needs two. Um, so now that I've bought two, this one and that one, uh, you, you hope you realise this means that uh, you know I have to live to seventy nine to get the value out of them because they will you know expire before I do otherwise. Um, you, you know, so you've got to see it as a long term investment, and which is what this is. This is this club is a long term investment of mine. It's one of my few successful long term investments. Uh, I went on Dragon's Den once with a plan to uh, uh, a plan to to sell guided tours to the top of Mount Everest, but uh, unfortunately they said it wasn't scalable. Um, <laughs> that's a joke. I always do a joke. You know, uh, uh, you, you know. Um, the the great thing uh, you can leave comments below on the Facebook page. Uh, Ava's asleep, so probably no one will. But I'll just point that out. We have not cut ourselves off. <laughs> Because <laughs> now on Twitter you can cut yourself off. You can post all the time and have no comments back. And that's just cheating, isn't it? But the whole point of Twitter is that it's vile and people are just openly rude for no apparent reason. And it's just a, a hellhole of hate. So going on there and then just not interacting with people is, is just wrong. You know, I mean, that's like this. You know, there, there, there should be divisions. There should be, you know, there's YouTube where you just talk and no one listens. And there's Twitter where you talk and, and people actually listen and it's really scary because they tell you what they think. Good. So that's my, uh, uh, that's my uh, uh, observation. So, uh, but, you know, this is entertainment. I just thought I'd point it out because it's not always apparent. Uh, sometimes it's not apparent that things are entertainment. I, I saw repeated on television the other day Anastasia, the, uh, the uh, television film, which uh, uh, claimed to be entertainment in the 80s and isn't anymore now and wasn't at the time. So I don't know why they're repeating it, even particularly given there's no mystery, because we now know that she wasn't Anastasia, because, um, you know, there, there's DNA evidence. So uh, so there we are. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't do live gigs. You, you, run, out of, um, you run out of punchlines. But, uh, you know, we, we are on the internet. It is free, unlike the television licence, which claims that you can watch things freely if you buy a television licence, but you can't, so you have to buy one. Uh, you don't have to buy one, by the way. Since cathode ray tubes became defunct, there are, there are no detector vans that work, and this is why the BBC TV licence is reduced to just sending very, very angry letters all the time. <laughs> because you can not pay your TV licence forever, and no one can catch you. I uh, just thought I'd give that tip. Uh, so uh, it's a bit dull strain, that, isn't it? But um, that is a tip that you can use if you are tight. Um, so I think that's a, a link, which is yeah. my function here, to waffle between the acts so that you have a chance to retune your mind and think, God, what a boring git. Now let's have something funny. So, uh, can we have some love and appreciation for the next act, who I probably would have on the running order if I could find it. Um, it's, um, uh, it's your favourite, Pat and Math. Ah, oh, Pat and Math. 
the, 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 the whimsical world of Fatima. Hi, Sean. Catherine, hello. And in the words of Janice Joplin, let's hear it from me and Debbie McGee. As we say, welcome to Two Men's of Pattern Math. Ask me a question. Today, Sean, yes. I'm asking, should we swap all bread for brioche? Well, what a pointless thing to do, Catherine, because as someone who has been to Calais, mm. I can tell you that brioche is just its other bread. Is it fuck? It's cake. It's other bread. It's a different bread. What are you talking about? How well, is it I mean, it's on the cake aisle in Aldi. Right. So it's cake. All oh, right. So if someone working at Aldi is in the cake it's... aisle, they're cake, uh, are they? No. They're right. a, a human person. Well, that, but if it's real... if they got onto the shelves, yeah, and and were cake, then yeah, sure they'd be cake. You just proved yourself wrong. But also, why would we want to do that? Why would we want to swap all bread for cake? I don't know. I don't want to. I I think that you know I'd feel sick eating all that cake. Yeah, and also if we were going to do that, go the whole hog. Don't mess around with, like, a ham sandwich, two bits of bread. Get two, like, French, Kipling's French fancies around a bit of Black Forest Gatto. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. A nice, healthy, savoury lunch. Exactly. All the food groups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like a bit of politics. <laughs> This is for all the good looking people out there who were not born who, with good looks. Who were not eating cake. Who. No. Well, some of them were eating cake. And they ended up eating the juice. Mary says she's 29, but she's been a very good friend of mine for over. over 40 years. Her husband dyes his hair jet black, although he's back and suck and cracker at least. Fifty shades of grey. <laughs> he can no longer use his eyes to demonstrate remote surprise or even vague recognition. Injected poisons can't be wise, but he believes those surgeons lies all of his own volition. So do us all a favour and leave yourself alone. You've had so many nips and tucks, there's nothing that's your own. How do I recognise you when I meet you in the street? And you're wearing someone else's face and you've even got new feet. Young Alan's brand new plastic tits Ooh. have started leaking, just a bit. And the poor girl is looking so deflated. But we've had a whip round down the pub to get the buggers pumped back up. And when it's done, the lads will be elated. So why not try to age with style? You're only here for a little while. But you think it's a good idea to enjoy it. You won't be coming back again. So while you're at it, take that brain and every now and then, just employ it. So do us all a favour and leave yourself alone. You've had so many nips and tucks, there's not all that's your own. How do I recognise you when I meet you in the street? And you're wearing someone else's face and you've even got new feet. And you're wearing someone else's face and you've even got new feet. Oh. Right. Oh, do you know what you need after that? A double act playing music. Oh, yeah. Right. Just playing music and uh, poetry. Yeah. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we've never done this piece before, <laughs> which will become uh, increasingly obvious as the piece goes along. Made an answer across the country, we beseech thee. Don't give money to that nephew or that niece. 
inside a card A Christmas of the birthdays The going rate being a tanner A piece Because the temptation to spend it It's a grave one As intended for a customary treat Not on ladies of the night Or drugs or liquor But on outings to the zoo And bags of sweets <laughs> But what you're doing, trust us, it is not a kindness. Entrapment's what we think you'll find it's called. Encouraging your kin to be so selfish and to think the government is that easily fooled. Then not and they will come down on you like a ton of bricks. Landed peers across the land will all be miffed. If they don't proffer a pound in every fiver, unearned income is the legal word for gift. In a carefree society, not a penny slips through the net. No cash in hand for the boys in the band, and your pocket money's under threat. And the MP's favourite charity, the Port and Cigar Club Fund, gets a welcome boost as your accounts are due. Don't tell me you're shocked and stunned. Aye! Oompa! Oompa! Sicker! Jumpa! You went out for a soiree or a supper, indulging in hospitality. Enjoying something that we probably wouldn't have at home Prepared to standards that are quite exemplary Receiving service that's above and beyond What we've come to think as the very best, least From a polite and friendly minimum wage worker And an hourly rate that deserves to be increased Oh, yeah! <laughs> It's a custom to recognize such efforts with a gratuity of 10% of the bill. A cash reward for services well rendered. A transaction that does not go through the till. But in doing so, we find ourselves embroiled in another plot to plunder and to strip the coffers of HMRC and the treasury because unearned income is the legal term for tip. In a cash-free society, not a penny slips through the net. No cash in hand for the boys in the band, and your pocket money's under threat. And the MP's favourite charity, the Port and Cigar Club Fund. Gets a welcome boost in your accounts are juiced, and everyone is shocked and stunned. They take away our right to pay with paper money and with coins. Put it all online so they can tax and fire fleeting gases that they then purloin. And the MP's favourite charity, the Port and Cigar Club Fund. We control our lives from the day we arrive to the day that we decide we're shunned. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was fast. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. This is this is Alexander from CompareDePairShape.com. Previously, we were CompareDeMeerkats.com comparing car insurance. But now, due to international situation and outbreak of racism on ITV, CompareTheMarket.com has told us to do one. So, we are promoting the pear-shaped um, because this is the only gig we can get. It is not fair. We have not done anything wrong and we do not support Vladimir Putin. So I do not understand why we have been banned from TV. Support your redundant meerkats. We should be back on the television getting on your nerves, selling your car insurance that you do not want. Not invading Ukraine. We are not responsible for the actions of Vladimir Putin. Give us back our jobs. No. <laughs> oh, that was great. Who was that? I like. I, I that like was that. Fabulous. That was, yeah. uh, oh. that was the meerkats that I found in my cupboard. <laughs> uh, the uh, car insurance something to me at some point. <laughs> there they are. Oh, you yes, got one there. Oh, they, great. They, oh, right. You can do a double act. They just came to me and uh, said, well, "We haven't got a job." <laughs> uh, so I found my job. I'm quite impressed, actually, after watching that again, that his tie is actually the same colour sort of scheme as the sofa, which is uh, entirely accidental. What sofa? Uh, well, sorry, the, the, 
the, the, the, the, the backdrop. But for me, it isn't actually a safer uh, fan, to be fair, it's an armchair. But, um, you know, uh, it's not their fault that they are they are not in proportion with the set. That's the best set we could get at short notice. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that was my attempt at entertainment. Because, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it was better than The Masked Singer. I'll, I'll give it a say for that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see the point in The Masked Singer. It's just bizarre. I mean, the, the identities are just obvious to anybody with the simplest grasp of uh, frequency modulation and, and Gaussian modelling and pattern mapping and mm. matching and algorithms and neural networks and matrix representation and vector quantization and decision trees to me. So I don't know why they bother. Good. So, um, yeah, well, that, that, that went all right. So, yeah. so sometimes you have an idea and it works or it takes a while to get going, you know, like um, people keep telling me that now isn't the time to uh, to, to start a haulage business into the EU. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I'm in the long haul, uh, so I have. Um, yeah, uh, and it's, uh, you know, I, I feel, uh, you know, uh, uh, some things are mad, aren't they? Uh, I mean, Prince Harry is suing the police because he doesn't think they can protect him. You know, I, I'm sure the police can. I'm sure, you know, I, you know, I mean, maybe somebody somewhere wants wants to uh, wants to assassinate Prince Harry, but I, I, I think the risk must be slight, must, must be quite small, particularly given that Prince Prince William, has, uh, you know, well, it must be small, you know, given that uh, Prince Philip is dead now. Um, good. Well, <laughs> if I hadn't stammered through that, I might have got the punchline right. But never mind. You get the point. Well, I, I um, think you'll find that if somebody does attempt to assassinate Prince Harry, it would probably be an ex-royal police officer. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's, he's, he's moved on to his next career. Uh, well, you know, they, they're all the, the, they were all the protection officers in that car that Diana was in. I don't know. All right. Yeah, yeah so probably they're there they're to make them. sure that uh, that she didn't come out. Oh, this is yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I trust uh, the police. I love. Uh, uh, police. Yeah, well, I, I, I trust them <laughs> implicitly. <laughs> <laughs> there was. A, uh, there I, was I, a... I may sound as though I don't trust them, but my trust is implicit. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it, it, it is implicit in what I'm saying. There was a, a bloke um, who lives in Brazil uh, who uh, came on to LBC and he said, oh, he said, uh, I'm the kind of person, if I see a policeman, I'd go up to him and I'd thank him for everything he's done for the country. And he said, when I was in Brazil, I did the same thing. And they were very polite. I get on very well. I trust all policemen everywhere. I think he's in prison now. No, right, well, yeah. he's obviously dead. not a Brazilian electrician, though, is he? I mean, <laughs> no, 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 that's a shocking joke, Al. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Um, uh, Anthony's going to uh, announce it, or is it me? Am I going to say? Well, you're going to tell me who's next, and then uh, I, 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 I didn't. I, I sent you uh, the running. You order. did, but that's um, what the all... writing is for. That's what the writing. I thought is, he's so... an intelligent bloke. Have we done the anti-poet? That was the last yes, one. Yes, yeah. the Miller cat. Uh, followed yeah. by the Miller cat. Yeah. You'll get uh, odd things. Yeah. Get so is it squeezed in. Young Simon. Now? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah can we have some yeah. love appreciation, please, for the wonderful Young Simon? This is Norman. Norman likes peace and quiet. You get me like man, just on the street, yeah, like some buff, yeah, yeah, like chitters, yo. We say one don't think like this, yo. Some fuck them up in business and take the hell out of the garden, no, like, right? This is Norman's neighbor. You know what I'm saying, black, like man? He doesn't care what Norman likes. We don't turn that fucking music down, I'll kill him. They don't spam me, you know what I'm saying, go like, you know, I spend that time on the street, yeah, and like some buff, yeah, you think, yeah, come up and be like. All I want to be a peace and quiet. It's not a lot to ask, is it? This your one said like, well, I can't, you know what I'm saying? And I say, well, I can't say like that. I can't know in a minute. I'm going to shove them balls up his ass. And I say, well, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I've been out the other day, like, you're chatting in bar, like, I'm saying, blood, like, well, I'm trying to get a job here. Norman is beginning to lose his temper with his neighbor.
want me to get a job because I'm outside the street, yeah. And like you get me, yeah, it's that hard for a black to get a job, and I'm saying blood, yeah, you get me, get, 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 get me. And like some bug, yeah, you think you come up to me like this, yo, and I said, like, well, I get, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. And I say, well, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been out the other day, like, you can check it and ball up and get a job because I'm out down the street, yeah? And, like, you get me, yeah? It's that hard for a blood to get a job, and I'm saying, blood, yeah? You get me, get, 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 get me. Oh. Well, that was a bit long, wasn't it? There it you was go. Too long. I did, I it shortened just... it. Did the same uh, but thing I seem to have made again. it longer. And nothing happened. So, yeah. It's all right, though, isn't I it? I thought it was going to have something in funny at the end or joke. There was, or... yeah. He shot his neighbour. That was funny. To some people, that's that's funny. Mm. You've got fucking noisy neighbours, you just shoot them. Okay, great. That's what I do. That's what I oh, do, you know. Because oh, no. my, my problem, trouble with me is I think too much. I think about everything, you know, politics, philosophy, and all that old shit. I think about all of it, and uh, I'm so busy thinking, I never get, I don't get that much done. So, but now, yeah. uh, look, I'm going to get this done, ladies and gentlemen. We would like to introduce you to Mr. Mm. Al Mandolino. Right, Bob. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, last week we just missed Burns Night by a week, last didn't we? Because we. Last, sorry, last month. That was a great start, wasn't it? <laughs> we missed Burns Night, didn't we? Uh, but this this week, this month, this month, we've missed Pancake Night, haven't we? Oh. Pancake. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So let's check out what's what's happening in Leonard's car park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, Leonard's still there, right? Yeah, and he's. He's still looking a bit grumpy because I still haven't found his teeth. Um, <laughs> but, but, but anyway, but Leonard's not, got no reason to look grumpy, really, because somebody turned up, and purely out of a coincidence as well, when Pat and Matt started their act, started their bit, they, they mentioned somebody um, who um, turned up at, for Leonard's pancake party. Now, this is Le Leonard's ex. Le Leonard's old, old flame. None other than, that, other than. Hey! It's Janis Joplin! How about that, hey? Hey, Janis Joplin! On a motorbike! <laughs> Absolutely fab! <laughs> Go and have a little look, Janis! Hey! <laughs> God, blimey! No, that was pure coincidence that Sean mentioned that. Um, yeah, wow! Janice! Switch it off. Switch the motorbike off, me dear. They, right, okay. So that was Janice Joplin, right? So, <coughs> it's okay. Come on over, yeah. So please, give a, a, a nice warm welcome. And make, make very welcome the queen of rock and roll herself, Janice Joplin. Wow, <laughs> motherfuckers! Yeah! <laughs> How about that, eh? Janice. Wah! That's yeah? Huh? Janice. Hi boys! <laughs> That's, uh, Fab, eh? We've got Janice Joplin on 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 set, haven't we? Eh? On site, yeah. How about that? Eh? Yeah. And she's she's we we found a track that Janice cut with the Fabs, the Liver that ba Liverpool band, way back when they did that film Get Get Back. Um, there was there was something that ja Janice did with them, and we're just we're just going to give it a go now. Seeing as it was pancakes night yesterday, and we had a bit of a party with Leonard, so here we go. Ah! Ah, 
How about that, eh? Oh, that, okay, that boys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that, Janice, there you go. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. That, that was fucking great, you know, wasn't it? Whenever eh? you're doing anything, it fucking pays. That was fucking great, yeah. That, that reminded me of Persephone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, but Jan, I think Janice is leaving. Janice is leaving. Hey, Say ta to Janice. Everybody bye, give Janice, Janice away. Bye, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, motherfuckers! <laughs> go on, then. There we go. Of <laughs> go on, follow that, oh. eh? Oh, come <laughs> on. Oh, get out of it. <laughs> well, I, I, I was... Uh... I've been entertaining myself by watching Russia Today with Alexander, <laughs> as you do. They are all got props. Um, so Alexander and I were watching Russia Today, and uh, there's, it's fantastic. It's like another world. It's magical. Nothing bad's ever happened. And they, and they were explaining the reasons for the invasion, and they said, um, they said, just imagine, because you'd have to see the world from their perspective, just imagine that England... And the uh, 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 and Scotland had had made Ireland not speak English, and instead they were speaking Irish, and uh, and imagine what kind of world that would be. But we don't have to imagine because next we have the two biddies. Oh, so here we are in Portobello. Six thirty in the morning. Six thirty, not the sun is shining. The fellow in the garage told me it took me twelve hours to drive her from London, but it didn't. It took. He told you. He said. I said. He said. How are you? And I said. I've just driven up from London. And he said. How long did that take you? About twelve hours. And I said. No, I don't think it took me that long. No. No. I mean, it's a long time, but twelve hours. That's a little bit. Your driving would have to be pretty terrible. Yeah. Did you tell him? I'm not a man. No, I, did, no. I just said I don't think it took me that long. No. I didn't like to go into all the intricacies of oh, you don't want to geeks and That's stopping. That's one place and, I wouldn't like to go. No. Any in the intricacies. All, all, all in, indices. Yes. In, 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 in intricacies. In, yes. In you don't want to go into the intricacies. In identities of, of intricacies. Uh, Especially, not intimately oh, anyway. idiosyncrasies in the in, yes. in, in, this, in this. Yes, he was obviously a bit of an idiosyncrasy himself. I think he was, yes. Yes. But never mind. So, well, there's Sydney Edinburgh. They were at Portobello it's Beach. lovely, isn't it? Facing the wrong the beach, direction. Yes. Normally, when people come to the beach, they face it. <laughs> they do. But we couldn't face it, could we? <laughs> we couldn't face no. it. No. It well, was unfaceable. Bit, I can see it in the mirror. And it's yeah. the best place for it, I think. It is. It is. It is. It it's the best place to look in I behind. I can see it as well. Hang on. See, look, there, there it is. There it is. That's it's the sea. That's the sea. That's this, great, this is the, stuff this is the best way to see the sea. Mm -hmm. If you want to see the sea, then come along with you and me. And look in the mirror. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! <laughs> Welcome yeah. to my Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to LA. Live. We are live. This is live. I feel like one of those reporters that suddenly called out on comic relief. Well, it's going to cut to them, and all of a sudden you have to be quick to go around. Oh, hi! Welcome back to me, Peter. That kind of thing. Would you like? Would you, like would you like an introduction? Well, that's that's standard practice, isn't all right. it? In like in live like performance. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cole Parker, our man in LA. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Thank you very much. No one else clapped except Brian. Thank you very much. Um, Welcome back to Armageddon. Hope you guys are enjoying it, wherever you are. Uh, yeah, it's, the world's ending, and I haven't even put out the bins. I know, it's a crazy world, isn't it? <laughs> Mind you, I'm trapped in a visa marriage or a bipolar functioning alcoholic, so for me, Armageddon's going to be a fucking breeze. Trust me, it's going to be fine. <laughs> so many things I haven't done, though. So many things you're thinking about, the impending death, all the things I haven't done. I've never had a threesome. Never, I know it sounds shallow. And it is a bit shallow, but I've never had a threesome. I had sex with a pregnant girl. Well, that doesn't count, does it? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> but there's so many things, and then also we've seen so many examples now of what leadership should really be. We're seeing that in Zelensky, of course. You're looking at Zelensky and seeing a real fucking leader, bar- like, you know, bunkering down and facing the fucking enemy, while we've got what appears to be a horny yeti, but somehow got into Oxford and put in a bad um, fucking suit. They're just bleh, or just lie to anyone. He's bleh, a friendly liar is what they've got. He's not a bad bloke, he's just completely ineffective. Yeah. So that's what we've got now. Uh, they're trying to reason with Putin, of course, find reason with a guy who rides a fucking grizzly bear bareback. Try and reason with that guy, yeah? The guy that commits murder using nerve agents in foreign countries. That in <laughs> itself, by the way, is an act of fucking war. But Boris Johnson went, oh, 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 but that's an act of fucking war. This is a man who poisoned Alexander Litvinenko. Well, I say he poisoned him. The Russians, of course, always deny it. And, you know, fair enough. For all we know, Litvinenko might have just been allergic to polonium-210. <laughs> so should probably wait. Until we get all the information. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so um, before I go, I'm gonna, I, I've always wanted to write a book and I've never fucking got round to it because I've done quite a lot of shit. So I'm just going to try and squeeze it into the last two minutes that I've got left on this show because there may not be another show. Let's just face it, this could be fucking it, right? <laughs> so, yeah, sorry for all the rants. Right? <laughs> Basically, right, everyone's going, you know, I'm in the States because I got trapped over here. Um, my second marriage kind of went out the wall. We were married for 87 days. She cheated on me while we were newlyweds, undergoing IVF treatment, right? And then kidnapped my daughter. <laughs> you modern <laughs> girls, right? So basically, right, that's why I've been over here for so fucking long. People think, oh, Cole's over here because he's got a great career. No, 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 no. I fucked up, right? That's what happened. I booked a commercial a few years ago, okay, for, uh, for a major, uh, I can't tell you what it's called, but it was a major telecommunications company. And I wasn't supposed to be in the country at the time. I've got a green card now. I can tell you this now because I'm legal and everything's fucking okay, right? I'm unhappy, but that's how it works, right? <laughs> but I had this commercial and it was being shown mainly in Mexico, but also in the States. And at the time it was being made, it was all fucking Trumpy, Trumpy, anti-Mexican, rah, 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 white, right, white nationalist shit, right? On the day of the filming, we had to fill in our information, we had to fill in, you know, like our green card details if you were from a different country, you got to fill in our social security number, all that kind of shit. So I'm sweating like a fucking madman because my, all my stuff's bought bollocks. I'm like, at this point, out of stages. So I'm just like putting in fucking like smiley faces and like swear words. I've got nothing to put in. But I don't know. I don't know, right? But they must have had somebody very lax working in accounts because they got away with it. And I found it bizarre that in America, during the most white nationalist point in history that the only illegal immigrant working on the movie full of Mexicans was the white guy from the UK. <laughs> yeah, they find that funnier over here than over there, but fuck you. Right. Um, I can die again before it's the end of the world. I'm allowed to get a quick death in before I die, can't I? Good. Thought I'd have time for one. And we've only just got over the pandemic. The pandemic's just ending, and now immediate fucking nuclear war. It's like, no, no, we're the most intelligent thing that's ever lived. We can look into space, we can look back in fucking time. But, like, what the fuck are we doing? I don't believe it. I, I, I already miss the masks. I miss them. I miss putting sanitizing gel inside them, putting them on and going out and being drunk within three minutes. I miss things like that. I miss swearing at strangers behind it to their fucking face. But obviously I'm, I'm miming it, but to my head I'm going, ah, you fucking cunt. Yes, I'll take the banana the stains. I'm literally like that. I'm missing them already. And the teenagers, of course, they're happy so they don't get acne on top of their acne. I'm sorry I'm rambling quite a lot. Basically, it's a long fucking sheet and you're getting all of it, right? It's the end of the world. You're getting all of it, okay? So... Right, there's only a little bit left. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I heard one of you guys mention Prince Harry earlier about him possibly being assassinated. Is that right? Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is it, yeah. Was there? Yeah. Right. Okay. I like Harry. Make no bones about it. I like him. Um, I know he's the ginger bastard, and I don't mean that. I mean that factually, <laughs> not in a nasty way. He is in a you know sort of literal sense. Because let's face it, Major James Hewitt is his fucking dad, right? I don't think I can be sued for that, I'm pretty sure. Maybe murdered, but not sued. Um, I've always liked him. And I know, he, of course, he, he achieved the biggest amount of fame in the UK years ago when, of course, he dressed as a Nazi quite famously for a party. And I always wanted to be in the room. Always because his brother went to the same party, but, of course, not dressed as a Nazi. He dressed as... I think. Um, and I was just... 
be in the room and hear that conversation that they were getting ready for that fancy dress party when William walked in and saw Harry getting ready and went, oh my goodness, oh, Harry. <laughs> you really do look marvellous. <laughs> Where did you get the costume? <laughs> did you hire it? <laughs> no, I borrowed it off my granddad. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! So as, as we're, as it, so this is the last bit, it's fine. Um, so as we're happening towards Armageddon, that's where we're going to die alone. It reminds me of something my functioning alcoholic bipolar wife often says to me, and that is, you're going to die alone. Now, that's quite a common phrase people have when they're arguing. It's like an expression of how much you don't like somebody. You say, you're going to die alone, suggesting they're miserable and hated and nobody will be near them near the end. But to be honest with you, right, I quite like my own company. <laughs> so it says, you're going to die alone. I'm like, fucking great. That's it's, that's how I want to die. It's like wanking. You don't want anyone else there when you're wanking, do you? I don't want someone there like, is he nicking my stuff? The last thought I had. You know, are you, what's the, as opposed to what? Die whilst arguing with you over a fucking bill. Imagine that. How miserable that would be, sitting down. Your last moment on earth. And you're sitting around with your family. And you've got your, you know, your, your chair. And there's the rabbi or the priest or the... Jedi, I don't know what the fuck you're in, or you're all weird out there, right? And like, you know, the doctor gives like the nod, says like, look, it's time to bring in the wife for the final argument. What a miserable way to leave this world if it's her walking in and going, where the fuck are you on Wednesday? What time do you get home? Why haven't you cleaned out the bins? Yeah, that's right, I'm pleasing on that. This is Cole Parker, it's the end of the world. We're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> Why? We'll see ya. Hey! Woo, woo, woo. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Mr. Kel Parker, uh, preparing for Armageddon, uh, as, as we all are, uh, yes, uh, yes, preparing for the, uh, yes. Yeah. I'm I, glad I, he's I, back I, on I, the weed. Yes, yes, you can tell, can't you? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I, I was looking at, um, uh, at becoming a mercenary in Ukraine, actually, because, um, yeah, apparently we're now the government are just encouraging people to go out and fight. After years of telling them not people not to go to Syria to fight, uh, apparently it's okay for us to go over and kill some Russians. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> so, uh, uh, that, that Begum woman must be really pissed off. <laughs> you told me it was treason to go and fight in another country. Yes, but you picked the wrong country, dear. Um, so uh, there you are. You can now go abroad and pick up a Kalashnikov. Uh, so um, talking of which, I should put another act on. Um, it's so not just another, uh, it's the headline. The headline act of the evening. Yeah. Uh, the, who must be, by definition, the wonderful Mr. Mister Noel James. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Hi. Can you hear me all right, then? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I will begin, then. <laughs> Good evening, children. <laughs> And thank you for joining uh, Pear Shaped. Uh, my name is uh, Noel, which is a Christmas name. Um, I was actually born in the month of um, April, which is not a very funny opening joke, but I always feel when Brian books me, it's good to take a risk, you know, and do experimental <laughs> stuff. Because comedy is subjective, which is why I want to subject you to it for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Some of you might think it's objective, and therefore you might object. Well, um, what can I say? I've had a terrible day. I've been to the doctors. Uh, COVID's still around. I was worried. I had a, a cough. I, um, I had a job breathing. That I said to my doctor, I've had a job breathing. He said, what, in the call centre on the uh, sex lines? I said, no, no, actually, um, I'm a bit bronchial, you know, because I was worried I had pleurisy on both lungs and singular C on one. And uh, the doctor x-rayed my lungs. He said, you've got a black mass on one of your lungs. Well, that explains the satanic chanting that was keeping me up in the night. Um, but, um, you know, what I really didn't get is when he put his stethoscope on me and he was testing my breathing, I was going, rrr, rrr. there was this rattling, you know, rrr, when I was breathing. And uh, the doctor said I had Chewbacca-losis. <laughs> Chewbacca-losis. <laughs> what a rubbish joke. But, you know, there's more where that came from. Uh, no, I really do not trust my doctor. He said to me, 
do you ever get thoughts of suicide? I said, yes, but luckily not my own. <laughs> In fact, I was thinking about Granny's suicide. Well, what it was, during COVID, we couldn't go on holiday. It was very difficult. And we wanted to take Granny um, for a special holiday to Switzerland. And, no, she really, she wanted to go, you know. Well, we nudged her a little bit, you know. And uh, But we couldn't because of COVID. So, luckily, the company in Switzerland sent some pills over to recreate the holiday in her mind. It wasn't good, actually. They were suppositories, which, uh, you know, well... It's euthanasia by the back door, really, isn't it? Hey, up! No, I've got into... <laughs> I've had a, ter- had a terrible Christmas. I didn't know what to, what to give anybody, so I just gave all these artificial legs. Well, I thought they were a stocking filler, aren't they? And do you know what my New Year resolution, a slightly eccentric New Year resolution, I decided to make my own tiddlywinks. To be honest, it's counterproductive. Uh, (laughs) But we're living in strange times. I actually got into a fight with a couple of anti-vaxxers. I lost the fight, but I got a couple of jobs in. And uh, and I gave him a booster as well. Yeah, what's going on? No, but listen, listen, right? That's my catchphrase now. Yeah, what's going on? Um, I, I heard some of the other comedians talking about Ukraine, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a political comedian. The truth is, I think all politicians are scum. Even the Green, the green Party, well, they're scum of the earth, you know. But uh, <laughs> what can you say? I mean, if Mrs. Thatcher was alive, would be alive today, she'd probably say something like, you crane if you want to. The lady's not for craning. Right. Um, I mean, <laughs> you, know, the, you know, you've got all these sanctions in place now, which is a fucking brilliant idea. I mean, when did they think of the sanctions? Because, you know, when there was an illegal war in Iraq and US and UK, we didn't get sanctions, so they must have just thought of it recently, you know. Um, No, I know I'm a topical comedian, and it is time to talk about the Iraq war, because I'm still (laughs) suffering from arachnophobia. Do you know what I mean? Even to this day. I, um, I think that one of the problems with contemporary life is health and safety (laughs) health and safety health and safety i mean it really makes things shit for example i went to i went for a parachute jump recently and uh, i hit the ground at 100 miles per hour because i was still trying to fill in my release form (laughs) now i'm a comedian from wales and uh, not only do i do perform my comedy in my mother tongue sometimes i perform it with my tongue in my mother um and there's a film out at the moment yet another feel-good film a feel-good movie about a little little unimportant insignificant incident that happened in wales in the 90s in this case it's about a cinema that was the first cinema in britain to show jurassic park and you know, I think they, they have a school of actors somewhere, somewhere which, which specialise in playing Welsh people, people like Bill Nye and all that, you know. And, uh, I mean, apparently they're going to do another film now uh, about uh, something that happened in Merthyr Tydfil in 2004 where there was a parking space finally available in front of the council building, you know. And uh, that's going to be tremendous, you know. They've got Anthony Hopkins and Jonathan Price lined up for that one. And uh, any script for any of these feel-good films set in the valleys. People refer to all of Wales as the valleys. That's because they're fascists, and that's how they pronounce the word (laughs) Wales. So you come from Vallis. Anyway, any script for any of those films goes something like this. They do say there's a Spielberg in America. (laughs) <laughs> they do say that, do they? Yes. Can, can't you remember the rest of the script? They do say there is a Spielberg in America. <laughs> Dinosaurs, by God. We shall have to say what the committee have to say about that. Jurassic <laughs> Park. The Reverend Sewillian will not be happy. Don't talk. We can't have a big lizard instead of the cenotaph. Cenotaph? I played full black man. Bloody North Williams. <laughs> Yes, and that's basically how that script goes. I was very sad to, to hear about the death of a member of the band King Crimson this week. No, I'm not sure how he died, but apparently it was progressive. And I was very even sorrier to hear about the death of Meatloaf, because when I was a kid, 
growing up in the South Wales Valleys. I was a fat kid and he was one of the few role models, an <laughs> overweight role model in, in the pop charts. And I actually formed a tribute act to Meatloaf going around the pubs in South Wales. And to be honest, they, they made mincemeat of me. Um, I think <laughs> it was probably the choice of my stage name which put people off because I called myself the faggot. But hey, <laughs> I recently, I recently had a conversation with a very posh vampire. Yes, he spoke with a plum tomato in his mouth. Um, hey, oh, come on, lad. Listen, right, there's more aphorisms where that come from. Look, because, you know, they say that the roads are the lungs of the nation. Yeah, well, fucking hell, it's a shame there's, there's so much tar inside them. No, but seriously, I've been I've been travelling all week, but for God's sake, don't tell Jimmy Carr that. Um, I um, <laughs> good God, I don't even know which joke you're, you're actually laughing at anymore. No, I don't really want to analyse another comedian or anything. I mean, you know, Jimmy Carr did a joke and uh, it caused a lot of fuss. I mean. I was trying to analyze it as a comedian myself. I was trying to analyze the joke and thinking, well, why would he, you know, why would he think that that would be, you know, technically a funny joke? And I'm thinking maybe because he thought everybody expected him to do a punchline about Jewish people, but he turned it around at the last second and it's it's about gypsies, you know, and uh, maybe he thought that was a justifiable way of doing the joke. I mean, what does he want? A gold star or something? I mean, <laughs> um, oh, oh hey. nasty. Uh, I, uh, I go and get a massage on a regular basis. I have a Reiki masseuse. No, but she never turns up. Every appointment I make with my Reiki masseuse, she never turns up. Oh, sorry, that's my, that's my flaky masseuse. But my Reiki masseuse, she turns up, but I can never see her. She's so bloody thin. That's why I call her Reiki. You know what I mean? I stepped on her once, and she went, bang, and hit me in the head. Don't know. Now, the truth is, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, but I'm a woman. No, I'm not. Um, I, uh, oh, sorry, I identify as, as a tree, actually. No, I don't. I was a tree surgeon, which is a good job. Plenty of leave in that job. And... Well, I wasn't really a tree surgeon. I was a tree dentist. I was a little down the ladder, you know. And uh, But I tell you, there was a lot of bigotry in that job because one tree surgeon's got a bigger tree than the other. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I've done a lot of, you know, uh, shit jobs. I'm doing one right now. I got a job <laughs> as a panel beater, which is why I can never get on Mock the Week anymore. Um, but what I was trying to say was, I was there was there was a good one coming there as well. Um, oh yeah, I, I don't know how to say this without without sounding lewd and vulgar, but I do go for a massage now and then, a proper massage. And there's a town near where I live called Morriston, and I did try the on the high street there. There's a Chinese massage uh, place, and on the window of the massage part, it's there's all these big yellow posters showing all the chakras of the body advertising the things they can do cup therapy reflexology and is all the list of things in the, the the parts of the body it helps and then it says hop eye ear candle therapy brilliant you know and i went in and i said to the lady there she was a chinese woman because it was it's a chinese um salon you know and i said to her can i get some uh hop eye candle therapy and she went huh? and i think you know i thought for a second i i may have spoken welsh or something um you know but in fact i had spoken english and the truth is those things they have on the window the reflexology the cup therapy the hop eye candle ear therapy they're just there for show you know they don't do any of that shit. it's just a basic massage place and the only thing they do is, uh, I believe, I think it's some kind of Chinese therapy, something called One King, um, <laughs> which, you know, is... I don't know what, you, what you're saying there. I can hear a lot of whispering. <laughs> Here, mate, I don't know where you're going to whisper. In a fucking helicopter. All right, mate. <laughs> 
Have I done my ten minutes yet? No, I'll carry on if I haven't. I just <laughs> right I was um <laughs> distracted. Yeah, how long have I got? Because you you, you, you have can it. finish any time. Uh, yeah, okay, but... any time. Okay, I'll just do another hour then. I Okay. <laughs> I went to China. I did actually go to China, you know, because you know, we were very naive, <laughs> very naive before COVID. Who'd have thought we'd be in this place now? I mean, I remember the last gig before lockdown. I was going to the front row of the audience and I shook everybody's hand and then I said, I've just come back from China. And they all laughed. Everybody <laughs> laughed, you know. <laughs> of course, they're not laughing now. Uh, well, they, <laughs> they can't. You know, they're dead. Um, because I was not just naive, I really had gone to China, but I didn't know what the etiquette was. I mean, I etiquette a dog and a pangolin. And <laughs> that pangolin was really stringy as well. I think maybe it was a mandolin. Um, <laughs> and uh, yes, yes. And uh, Disney, Disney films, of course, are the next subject, which I would like to seamlessly segue into. Now, I don't know what to say about Disney, except they keep rebooting films. They're going to make uh, contemporary versions of Disney classics. They're making a version of The Little Mermaid called The Little Mermaid on Toast. Uh, there's going to be a film called Finding Nemo on Tinder. And, yeah, there's going to be uh, a film called Snowflake and the Seven Trolls. No, that's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, and they're going to reboot the old woman who lives in a shoe. And the old woman's pissed off because she thinks the council should reboot her and not a private company. I just came back before COVID. I went not just to China. I went to Korea, North Korea. Not like the South. It's got no soul, has it? But there I was trying to do comedy or over there. <laughs> and <laughs> terrible place for comedy. They don't let you drink beer. You know why? It's teetotalitarianism over there, isn't it? And Jimmy Carr would not have gone down well over there because they had all these, um, how can I say? They had these travellers, bands, <laughs> they didn't have many comedians, but they have these uh, people playing guitar, acoustic guitar bands made up of travellers in North Korea. They were the Gypsy Kims. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I think I've tried to throw in a few new things there, and uh, I, uh, I hope to uh, see you again one day. Uh, the last gig I did... I forgot, I should have told you, the last gig I did, people hated me so much, they actually threw their bottles and glasses at me. But uh, the good news was, it was, that was a Zoom gig as well, and they just fucked up their computers, you know. <laughs> because that's how I'm saying it. Whether people like you or not is a reflection of how intelligent or how stupid the audience is. And I know this sounds like a workman, a bad workman blaming his tools, but I didn't know there'd be so many tools in the audience, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, what's going on, mate? What the hell? Um, so I just want to say thanks awfully, thanks, and I'll yeah I'll hand you back to to Brian and Crystal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. No tips all the way from the valleys. Oh, well, fuck, that was good, wasn't it? That was yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, oh. Headliner live for a yeah I mean, we put Al on, he was fucking mental, and, and, and I thought, oh, there's no way we can fight our way back from this. <laughs> and what happened? Cole, Cole came on, he was fucking brilliant. And it, yeah. it, 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 like an hour ago, he's going, oh, I've got to send you a video. I've got fucking builders and cunts making noise and everything. And I couldn't hear anything, could you? Yeah, I think he was lying about the builders. Oh, but, and, 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 and then Noel comes on, fuck me. Was it? That was great, wasn't it? Yeah. I enjoyed it. You, you, you well, you don't look like you enjoyed it. You just, I never got, do. You just got that, that that look that you normally have when you're on the door, yeah. when somebody's trying to get in for free. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, all right. Look, that is my normal. I know. I'm I'm more than aware of it. I'm more aware than the, door, uh, right? any any anybody else. You don't um, want me to go around going. Uh, no, no, no fucking smiling, ah. smiling, oh, smiling, do smiling, you don't want to go smiling, do you? So, um, uh, how's it, mate? Uh, it's time for no, roll call. It's roll call time, yeah, yeah, and, and, and this is going to change, so don't, don't overreact. Okay. Okay? I know, I know, I know what you girls are like, eh? Hey, girls, you like birds, aren't you? Hey, always, always getting the wrong end of the stick, you know, you know what I mean? Talking the same things. 
la 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it's quite what a wonderful evening. It's been a wonderful evening, and it, darling? Yeah, it's marvellous. Uh, I mean that in an actorish sort of way, yes, I know. Not, not loving. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, very first act you saw this evening was uh, Young Simon. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah. he, he's not here, he didn't turn up, he didn't bother to turn up, and he's, uh, he says he hasn't gone away, so we can't say fuck him, can't do any of that. I don't so, think he even knew he was on, did he? Uh, he didn't, no, he no. didn't, he, no, he doesn't know he was on. I put him on, uh, on the That's list why of he didn't uh, show up. people to be advised, but um, he, he has no idea. Uh, and then we had uh, Robert White. Robert White. Yeah. He, he hasn't showed up either. Is that yeah. just, uh, here's another video. You've only had a couple of hundred. You know, it's a, it's a minimum of effort. Then we had uh, Pat and Matt. Pat and Matt. Yeah. yeah, they don't fuck the bother, do they? No, just, uh, no. Here's another video. You know, just, uh, fuck a bit. Then we had the Anti Poet. That was a video. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, after the Anti Poet, we had the Miller Cats. Yeah, the Miller Cats. Yeah, they were fucking. Oh. I think we should have a little. I have oh, there he is. Oh, is. There he is. It's a reprieve. There he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I reckon you've ju you've got a new double act on the way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's a triple act actually. Can you yeah, talk the, without moving your? He has a little friend. He has yeah. a little friend. He's got a little friend. A triple act. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> He's got two hands. <laughs> you can do it. Yes, yeah, no, so we I, can I don't go want to turn Oh, we ate double axe, and, uh, but we, what we do like is triple, triple axe. axe. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's oh, good. All right. So uh, I'm, I am going as fast as I can. That's why, I, yeah. I, I'm, that's why I'm not uh, letting you in in case you say something funny and spoil it. So, uh, yeah. And uh, the, the thing that we didn't do at all, we were going to. Um, uh, what's that? Uh, Crystal was going to uh, talk about women drivers. She fucking hates women drivers. I thought I was going yeah. uh, to. Well, you were going to talk about something else, films weren't you? Films as well. Yeah, films you, on women drivers. Well, it's up to you, isn't it? You, you make the choice. Quickly, hurry up. You want me to put it on? What? One of them. Pick one. Ability. I've got a new setup. I'm doing it on my phone with a little um selfie light. Oh, it's very nice. So you're a bit more close up. <laughs> anyway, um, well, it's hard to do a vlog now because, I mean, World War Three is about to start, and uh, COVID's just been left to run rampant without any monitoring or anything in England. So uh, I'm going to talk about the important things in life, and that is women drivers yeah because i am a woman driver i do all the driving when brian and i go on like uh you know to do gigs and everything or anywhere um i drive there and back and um i'm not a bad driver i'm safe i'm good but parking is my specialty i am a brilliant parker so all those people that say women don't have special space spatial awareness, special awareness, whatever it is, um, are wrong. Because, uh, I mean, I know men that can't fucking park or, or whatever, but uh, I am brilliant. I'm hoping that Brian will insert uh, a picture of a park I actually did. Now, this park, I thought, I can get the car in there. It's outside our house. I can get it in there. And I manoeuvred in and out and in and out, just a little nudge, back, 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 forward. And then when I got out of the car, it was like sort of that much on either side of the bumpers. And I thought, oh, my God, that is a brilliant park. So I took a photo. And it is unbelievable, but I actually did it. It's not a trick. It's not fake photography. And um, I, we didn't just sort of slide, get a... a a tow truck or something and a forklift and slide the car in. It is a real park and I did it. So all those people that say that women don't know how big things are and can't fit them in are wrong. Yeah. And I represent all women, of course. <laughs> I've just realised I haven't got my glasses on. I wonder why everything was a bit blurry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Oh, no, I don't think it is. Anyway, so... um. While we're talking about space, special awareness, but space things. Um, oh no! Look, 
Look, I've got that circle of light in me, in me glasses. Ooh, ooh, that looks funny, isn't it? Ooh, right, okay, that's no bleeding good, is it? Oh, I'll take my glasses off again then. Um, oh, okay, so I'll do it with sans glasses. So, um, yeah, right, now, people who don't know how big their fucking car is, that really gets me. You know those posty things, right? They, you know, in the, to stop uh, traffic calming, they're called. I don't think it makes anybody calm, it just makes everybody angry. And um, basically, the widest part of your car are the wing mirrors, right? They stick out. They stick out on purpose. That's the widest bit. If they are through the posts, you're through. All right. You don't have to worry about, just drive straight, you know, keep the wheel straight, drive through. You don't have to inch forward worrying if your bottom's going to get scraped or your sides are, your wing mirrors are through, you're through, just fucking get on with it, all right? And the other thing is, if you're in a little car, like a little hatchback or one of those micro things, and you're behind like a big four-wheel drive and it's just gone through, like the post, it's just gone through, right? Seven foot or whatever, six and a half foot, whatever it is, your car will fit. All right? So just line it up and drive through. Don't take fucking hours inching it forward going, oh, I can't drive properly. It really fucking annoys me. Know how big your car is. All right? Same with when you're passing parked cars and someone's passing you. Don't leave three or four foot next to the parked car. Know how big your car is. Just leave, you know, enough. I'm scraping through with a couple of inches on my side because you're over my side leaving all this room on the other side don't do it have a look at your car see how big it is measure it if you like and then when you're driving have a look at the distance and make sure you can go through it and you can go through it your car is not enormous so just bloody drive sensibly and stop holding me up Okay, that's um, that's my lecture over for the day. Oh, I have got one more thing to talk about, but I'll do it in a, in another episode. All right, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that was Crystal talking about uh, talking about enormous cars. Now I don't know about it's, you, it's but Crystal's I've got nostrils. A new... more. What? It's more of Crystal's nostrils than anything else. I, that, I, I, I think, think I found that very intimate. Very intimate. Was a bit being able to say right out her nose. I used yeah. to say that to my dentist. Yeah. She's a, uh, she's a, uh, and she, but because she cycled to the the dental school. She used to have soot and They're all bright. sorts of stuff. And I used to tell her, I could say, right up your nose, love. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, that was you going on about enormous cars. But us blokes, we like, oh, we all got an enormous cock, right? Same size as my car. And if I come to a narrow space, I, I'll think, oh, I can't get it in there. <laughs> that, there we go, that was... Um, Sexist. Yeah, it's sort of, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's, I, I quite like being sexist with you. Oh. La, 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 la. Right. So, uh, uh something up there. So, uh, and then we had mm -hmm. young Simon. Fuck me, you went on for ages. But I think it's my fault because I, I thought I shortened it. As long as Crystal. But, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, and uh, nearly as long as you yeah, well, ranting on, about on a bit too much, blokes I? with enormous cows. Mm. Uh, and, and then we had. <laughs> It was an, another another triple act, wasn't it? Because we had me and there was Leonard there. Yeah. And we had Janice as well. Ah, didn't we? <laughs> Hi, boys. <laughs> yeah, and and we thought and she. we thought well, there's no way we're going to fucking recover from that, <laughs> right? We had, well, we had two, two biddies. biddies. Two, two biddies. biddies, yeah, yeah, being uh, racist in a car. Being at the seaside, and, and facing the wrong way. How can it be racist? I lived in Ireland till I was fucking 12. And I, I said, oh, geez, that's a bit fucking racist now. It's, it's taken me a while to get this. Your parents are ra uh, well, uh, racist. Racist, yeah, they're racist. Uh, Irish. Yeah, they were they're racist. Irish. Yeah. They're Irish. It's, uh, I always find it odd, Irish people being racist. I find that quite... <laughs> 
quite peculiar. But my mum and dad used to go on about fucking foreigners and uh, stuff like that, you know. And uh, so, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you can't be racist, what can you be? Non racist. I don't know. I think the problem is, Brian, you know, it might end in troubles. In troubles? Oh, that's bordering on the. Uh... Well, well, other places had civil wars, but you, you just had troubles. I know, I know. Yeah. I, uh, You see, when people go on about fucking. Uh, um, uh, what's the name of that country that's just been invaded? Ukraine. Ukraine. I think Ireland's been living next to. Uh, a bunch of cunts just like Russia for <laughs> only for about 500 fucking years and uh, and they weren't allowed to speak their language either and they weren't allowed to exist and they weren't allowed to be fucking stupid Catholics they had to be stupid Protestants well, so, my brother goes to Northern Ireland uh, huh? it's all, my brother goes to Northern Ireland a bit and it's all museums now there's a, there's a real industry in, in the Troubles Museum. You can go around and see how, uh, is, what, 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 a, you know, what it was like yeah. to be kneecapped. And what, this is know, a grenade. A, a never went off. Um, but it's, uh, so if they, if they can cash in, I don't see why you can't. Well, they all cash in, don't they? History mm. is, is just bollocks. It's, yeah. it, it's a, a, a load of bollocks written on behalf of the invaders. I reckon mm. the Russians have got, well, we know that the Russians have got a completely different idea. They're saving <laughs> Ukraine. From They're Nazis, they say. Well, saving mm. them from the Nazis and from themselves. The Nazis. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, so that's their history. And oh. um, uh, But I, I, I quite like the fact that <laughs> the... Uh, Ukraine president used to be a comedian because yeah, uh, there was some time ago a few years ago I got really fucked off with all these comedians going, oh yeah well you know if I was to uh, I'd do this and I'd do that and I thought how fucking terrible it would be if a comedian <laughs> uh, you know these people who know the answers to everything how terrible it would be if one of them ended up as a uh, prime minister, <laughs> and well, yeah. fuck me, we got one. Yeah, <laughs> what's happened? Well, yeah. He's quite cunt good. in America, and a fucking comedian. He, uh, I, 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 to be honest, I found Boris actually quite can funny. Can we finish the roll call so we no. can get everybody <laughs> in the green room? Oh, God. oh, you're no fun. Well, let other people cut in. All right, huh? where are we? It, Cole, it, it, Cole. It's Anthony's fault. <coughs> he keeps saying things. Cole. Oh. Cole did his report. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought we were never going to get over, uh, you yeah. know, and uh, then, fucking Al. Yeah. And and Cole Parker came along. Yes. And and I, and I thought, oh, he saved the evening. Saved the evening, like like the um. <laughs> well, I didn't talk to everyone else. That's not true. Huh? I didn't say the evening, everyone. Don't go home and kill yourselves. Yeah, yeah. No, you did. You did. And and I thought, ah, oh, that's great. Now I don't know how Noel's going to get on after that. But he came on and he did fucking great, didn't he? Mm. No, well. Yeah. So, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, he, yeah. He'll be back on in a minute now to tell me oh, off. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Hello, Noel. Hello. <laughs> He, did, he great... did my accent a few times as well, and I know that, that Noel doesn't like when people do the Welsh accent. Yeah, I made yeah, yeah. Before. yeah. <laughs> I've just been to the dentist. Look at these braces he's giving me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should form a tesseract, whatever that is. That'd be good. Uh, a what? A tesseract. A, oh. Instead of a double act or a triple act, a, a tesseract. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's something out of the Marvel uh, universe, I believe. No. Um, oh. You know yeah, when you get fucking there. intelligent people on and they um, start talking. No, 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 no. What the fuck's going on? No, it's quite a simple concept, really. Just let's start taking like, what is it? Five or six? Well, it'll be five, but six because one was <laughs> double act. <laughs> mediocrely funny people and putting them on one bill, it would just be like a normal jongleur, basically, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. What you're saying, let's reinvent jongleurs. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. But he, he's talking about having everybody on stage at the same time. 
<laughs> I, are you, uh, the way this has changed, does that mean that roll call is over? Roll call is over. Oh, you want God. me to do the end, um, you want uh, me to do the end uh, Yeah, and then video. we can just relax and... It's nice to see you now, by the way. Oh, yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a, a, a crap no, version no. of Celebrity Square. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are, we in the, are we in the green room right now? Uh, hang on, no, you will this... be immediately yeah. after this. Oh. Okay. I'm just waiting for the technical side I of things to, it. Where is to it? catch Ooh. up. Oh, bye. Yeah. Nice to see yeah. you, Cole. Hello. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Well, that was a, what a marvellous show. I, I must yeah. say, I really enjoyed it. I thought everybody was absolutely hilarious. But I could see you enjoyed and, something, um, yes. I'm, in fact, I'm so happy I that uh, so. I would actually like to pay something. Yes, I, well, I don't know, I don't know where account. to start, you actually. Normally, I have a little account. man who deals with the money for me. But, yes. uh, he, he got into a fit of laughing and he, he seems to well, sort of disappear somewhere. I don't have to do it. So, uh, I how do I pay? Scan the QR code or follow the link. Well, that was pear-shaped, indistinct yarn. Wednesday night at half past eight. Once a month. Pear-shaped, and we hope yarn. Thought the show was really great. If the comics made you grin, feel free to chuck a fiver in the bin. Or ten, or more. Fair shape, in dystopian. Wednesday night at top half eight. Wait, when does it run? Oh my goodness, it's a silly idea. Wednesday night at top half eight. Wednesday night at top half eight. Wait, when does it run? Oh my goodness, it's a silly idea. Wednesday night at top half eight. Wednesday night at half past eight. Wait, when does it run? Oh my goodness, Wednesday night at half past eight. Wednesday night at half past eight. Wait, when does it run? Oh my goodness, Wednesday night at half past eight. But I can only see a pear-shaped logo. Ah, you hid from me. Wednesday night at half past eight. That's it. That's our catchphrase. And nobody ever pays anything. They did on episode one or two. No, we got something last month. We got five did we? last month. Did we? Oh, all right. Yeah. Mm. From oh. somebody very nice. Yeah. No, but you get every now and then somebody gives us something. Mm. Thank you. But it doesn't you're, cover the cost of the screen. You were up. all wonderful. I've really mm. enjoyed it. So, oh. I, and I'm only slightly very pissed. Oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Ah. Are we on air now? No. Yes, uh, we're still we broadcasting. Are now for a about All five right. minutes or something. Okay. Mm. Minutes. I'd like to say hello to Claire. Hello, Claire. Hello, Who's Claire? Claire? Who's oh, Claire? I, sorry. I th oh, Carl, I mean. Hi, Carl. Hey! <laughs> hey, Carl. I've, it's been so long, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You. Uh, so. Please forgive me if I'm semi distracted. I'm just preparing myself some um, mm. Thai red curry with uh, beef and some brown oh, lovely. party rice. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, please continue. Oh, well, I uh, make a calorie mess. <laughs> okay. I think I would recommend uh, mango chutney with that. Um, oh. Yes, I had, last time I had a curry, I had a mango chutney. Well, there was a man there going, chutney, chutney. Uh, and, yeah. um, Don't worry. Yes, <laughs> good, good. All right. This green room is incredible. Uh, I a know. Lot. <laughs> I just had a piece of a bite out of my pancake that I made earlier for me, that me prop pancake, and I can't remember whether I dropped it on the floor or not now. I don't know when I was, when I was, that's about I, as exciting as it gets around here, Noel. Seriously, that pancake <laughs> dropping nearly eating it incident, that's going to be a high point that. we'll talk about on Christmas time, about yeah. a Christmas party we have. Yeah, trust me. Well, it's, uh, you know, it was uh, pancake day yesterday, so... Yeah. Um, uh, only one partake. Watch well, we like we like to be topical. <laughs> well, especially as there's a pandemic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. lovely! <laughs> Sorry, man. It's great. <laughs> Shut up! <da. laughs> You're. Oh. I nearly went. That's lovely now, but then I realised that that would have been culturally inappropriate of me, as I was so many years ago, <laughs> in all those dressing rooms. 
I remember that back in the day, people go, well, doesn't Noel get angry when you go up and do his accent to his face, right in his face, just before he's getting I, I, on stage? I found, I found yeah, people got weird. angry when you got up and did their act. That was when they got really pissed <laughs> off. Well, <laughs> I, I can't remember both of your songs, Brian. Huh? Nothing. I'm just checking out your kitchen doors there, Cole. Are they Ikea? Oh, I don't know what they are. This is really old and shit. This is really shit. Shake the kitchen doors. Yeah. I spent all it's day really painting poor. kitchen doors, yeah. We're, ward we're wardrobes. Big, I couldn't big, comment big on that. Oh, I feel a song coming on. I spent all day painting kitchen doors. How's that going for you, Al? Are you still doing the uh, wax on, wax off? I, I painted... 12 wardrobe dolls today, inside and out. It took all day. Did they know oh. about it? Was this permitted or just you're, sneak in? Just you're trying house, to make us it? jealous. <laughs> just, just, just thought about Janice all day, you know. Yeah. Ah, motherfuckers! <laughs> Are these the people who buy the furniture off the shelf and then decide they have to be a different colour? So. Yeah. No, they, they, they paid me thousands of pounds to build wardrobes in their bedroom, <clears> which, which is oh. fine, fine. Yeah. If I found you in my bedroom, I'd be terrified. Like you like popped out under the bed like a little elf or something. Literally, I would. Corners is in, and now the doors have arrived. The doors have arrived. The doors have arrived. Oh, Jim Morrison! Here comes Jim Morrison. It took me a week to paint the doors. Fine. Ching ching. I'm very jealous, but then I'm in a green room, so that makes sense. You know. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, while while uh, I've been in the states now for several years, but I managed to track down and see your performance on. I'm not sure what show it was. Forgive me, but it was phenomenal. You'll know the show I'm talking about. Oh, Britain's Got Talent. Or yes. Yes. Crime yes, Watch. Yes. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> What's the second one again? Crime Watch. It was the first one this time. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. yeah, it was fantastic, though. It was phenomenal. It blew me thank away. You, thank you. I appreciate that, Cole. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, uh, you know. Oh, I can't understand how anybody could go on that show, no. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gamble, mate. It's a gamble. It is, good, good yeah. comments can never shit give on that. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's not a very good. It's a terrible show. I mean, it makes people look stupid, you know. But it, it, if the gamble pays off, you know, then you're all right. Yeah, you know? yeah. Did, did it pay? It does not make the comedians, but you brought it, mate. Yeah, it made a difference. But COVID yeah. stopped the momentum. But yeah, it yes. did make a difference. I, yeah. I got, I got lots of work, and I got work off some bookers who never booked me before, and yes. I, I got different types of work, you know, like cruise yeah. ships and stuff. Oh, nice. yeah. The cruise ship work was very difficult though, but then I did a cruise missile and that was. <laughs> oh, man. I bet you're well, wrong. I can't. It. I'm sorry, mate. The bomb. <laughs> yeah, I did bomb. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, you know, I didn't. Where have you been in, Col? All these years, you've been away. Uh, Los Angeles mainly. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So basically, what I said in my rant tonight was true. I came over here. Oh, yeah. Are, which then got compromised for a few years, so I was kind of stuck here for a while. Yeah. But now that's all that's all fixed. So yeah, oh, I've been over here for like since thirteen permanently. What are, what were you were you doing acting over there? Oh. Yes, yeah, because the stand up scene over here is fucking appalling. Um, I still go out on cruise ships. I work for Carnival, okay. and I do like some corporate -y shit that when it comes up, and I go to Vegas maybe once a year and do the gigs. Like it's just to say I'm really? getting wow. Vegas. But it's, it's yeah. seriously the the scene in the UK is or was a much much stronger circuit in the realms of talent. New York's a different story. New York's all right, but um, like for example, the the Laugh Factory here in uh, Hollywood, they pay their comedians twenty five dollars to show. Oh, yeah, uh, the comedy store pays theirs twenty. Although, if you do their out-of-town stuff, like go down to San Diego, which is about a two and a half hour, three hour drive, uh, you'll get 75 bucks working for the comedy yeah, store. Yeah. yeah. So, like, but, the, but the acting opportunities are, like, stuff I'd never even get in the room for in the UK. So you're there now, are you? I didn't realise. That... Yes. I'll show oh, you my okay. Yeah, no, it's not all right. I promise. Hmm. He's going to show you some sunshine. Look at that. There's my wow. 
Lovely. Uh, yeah. Acidina, mate. Ah, don't know how you put up with it. No. Oh, and marijuana's legal here as well. <laughs> you have mentioned that. No, yeah, but not to know before. <laughs> Anthony, that was quick. No. I'll get you straight on that. <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> You could nice. do with a joint, Anthony. If there's ever a person in the world who could do with a fucking joint, Anthony, it's you, mate. If it was legal, I would certainly do it. But sadly, um, we are living in the 1950s here. Um, can we stop broadcasting, Brian? Because I feel like I'm trapped here for eternity. No, not thing. yet. Why not? Yes, I can. It's 10 o'clock. Can we? Yeah. All right. Oh. Because I've got something to say as well. What, you want to break right. somebody off? All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Anybody who's watching, we're going now. Mm. <laughs> wow. It feels like the end of a life.